Oh, hi guys. So here's the deal. Last week, I got to go to Italy with a couple of my friends. I was speaking or like moderating a panel at a thing in Lisbon and uh, they were gonna fly me out first class. Those idiots, do they not see? They, they, I mean, come on. That shit's dumb. That shit's expensive. And you know what you can get for the price of one first class ticket? Three coach tickets. Uh-huh. So they agreed to instead forego first class and pay for three coach tickets and I got to bring two friends. Not only that, but they agreed to fly me back from Florence, Italy instead of Portugal. So yeah, I got to bring my friends Hanada and my friend Jocelyn and we went to Lisbon for one day and then we took the show on the road to Italy. Ah! Guys, if you want something, just ask for it. Meanwhile, uh, a couple weeks ago I went to a wedding in North Carolina and I met my friend Dustin, I never met him before until I landed in North Carolina and uh, he gave me a ride from the airport and we became fast friends and two days into knowing him, I was like, bitch, you wanna go to Italy? Sure enough, he showed up. He even booked the Airbnb. So on the third day of the trip, I decided, fuck it, this was such a ragtag crew, I might as well vlog. And I might as well put it on this channel, so enjoy. Hey guys, so I've been in Italy for a few days, in Florence, but I wanted to vlog today because we took a day trip to Venice. Jocelyn, how do you feel about Venice so far? Love it! We have three options, one hour, 30 minutes, 45, but 30 minutes every time is not enough. The time the gondola flies. Because it's a relaxed magic moment. Okay. 45 is okay. Not too short, not too. No problem. Perfect, thank you. Good morning, Florence. So we ended up coming back from Venice yesterday, which was magical, and then stuffing our piggy faces, drinking some more wine and going to sleep, and now we're back in Florence for one more day, and it's cold as shit, and it's early, and the only thing that could possibly get me out of bed this early is to go see some dick. Some David dick. But first, I need some damn coffee. Nada, we're about to see David, how do you Ooh. feel? I mean, it's like royalty in front of us. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt. So these are all sculptures that Michelangelo started, but that he died before he finished. Which is basically just me with Microsoft Word open and multiple things that I think I'm gonna get done. But I only get half carved. Brunch. We went up and did a little shopping, but I can't show you what I bought because it's all gifts for people. And uh, then I took a motherfucking nap. Now I'm walking past the Duomo, the Duomo, and I've been seeing Duomo Arigato to it every single time I walk by it. It's gorgeous. Check it out. Despite living in New York where they do them on the street forever, I did not have roasted chestnuts until Venice for the first time yesterday. And now I'm addicted. They're like giant chickpeas. Somebody's bugs. <laughs> we decided to be the only adults riding the carousel. We got no shame up in our game. Jocelyn, would you say every day you're truffling? We are headed to some square to see our last sunset in Florence. 
But with a good view comes so many stairs. And I've just been eating pasta for 72 hours. We've now approximately done about, I don't know, 20 to 30 flights of stairs. So this view, ooh, babe, it better knock my socks off. Oh, okay. <laughs> How y'all doing? You gonna survive? <laughs> I get to this beautiful place in Florence and the guy starts playing hillbilly music. Coincidence? We are just walking to dinner and stumbled upon a huge <coughs> sculpture, square, and someone just started playing music. Italy, what the fuck? I don't want to go home. We decided to grab a bottle of wine before we go to dinner. Just in, you know, underneath the sculptures, under a red heat lamp, and they give you blankets. Look you, Virgin America. This restaurant has blankets for fright. Between the red light, the red hat, the red blanket, and the red shawl he just put on you, we got a theme, baby. And it's TLC Red Light Special. Wait, this doesn't mean I'm like a public right. doesn't. No, it's just a prostitute. I have that on my Spotify. 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 Cheers. Salute, salute. Salute. No, you're done. You're cut off. Here we are at the same gelato place <laughs> for three out of four nights because these bums love their gelato and we love stealing <laughs> bites out of it. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> so there you have it. I went to Italy. I know this isn't a normal Y dad. I did some vlogs when I was doing Dirty 30, but is this something you'd like to see? Perhaps a random in LA or when I leave the country vlog because this shit's relevant. Next week, Grace Helbing and I are taking our two person show. This might get weird y'all. And trust me, it does get extremely weird. We are taking it to London to do a show on our American Thanksgiving. So next Thursday, and then we're also doing a show in Dublin. I have the link to tickets below. There are tickets available. I would love to see you there. That was a little too sincere for my liking, but you know what? Tis the season, it's Thanksgiving. I'm thankful that I get to go do shit like go to Italy with my friends, so fuck it. I'm gonna live my truth. And you should live your truth by coming to our show because you know you want to. So if you live in London or the surrounding areas or in Dublin, come on out, it's gonna be a good time. Beansers, come here. Hey Beans. Stick your tongue out if you think these people should come to the show. <laughs> um, close your eyes if you think they should get VIP tickets. <laughs> I went too far.